Howdy folks, howdy. Yes sir, Sean Brock back with you again. Remind you, please, please, subscribe, and like, share, whatever it is you do, subscribe. I uh, got one here that's uh, first on the channel from a classic builder out of Virginia, Mr. Gerald Anderson. This is his Master Model F5 number 87, a wonderful instrument which was completed July 3rd of 2003. So he got this done right before the Independence Day. And uh, it's a very, very nice instrument. We're gonna play a little bit on it. We're gonna see what she sounds like, demo her up. Uh, this instrument is for sale. If you're interested, see the description box. I know that the price is, is very reasonable on it. Uh, Jimmy Edmonds owns this, and you can see the description box. I've got Jimmy's website. I've got his uh, cell up there as well. You can uh, call him. Now, because Jimmy is busy working and running a shop, he may not answer. So leave a voicemail or send him a text message uh, or send him an email there and visit his website, you know, all that stuff. But if you're interested in this man and a good, a good buddy of Jimmy's, uh, Gerald Anderson, and if you don't know Gerald Anderson, he uh, he worked with Wayne Henderson for many, many, many years, and uh, you know it's kind of a mainstay. Him and Wayne were were big buddies, and uh, so a lot of a lot of Gerald's influence come out of Wayne's shop and working there. We're going to try out a few different things. Let's let's see, see how she chops. It's a pretty pretty impressive deal here. Notice even down here in C, comes out real nice, nice B, and the B flat, of course the G, and this real good, real good uh, bass string. bass just uh I really enjoy a real even chop up and down the neck this is an Adirondack red spruce uh, top uh, built more or less uh, very lower influenced um, and uh, obviously the back and sides of maple you got some pictures up there uh, but I really enjoyed the bass on this and the treble's nice too you know you got some cut there but it's uh, it's not harsh at all man real nice looks like the uh, neck is one and uh, one and an eighth uh, you get a little bit wider feel almost um, the mandolin has been refretted uh, very recently and set up it's got kind of a, a stronger bluegrass action it's just sort of where it's sitting at now 
But as part of the setup and the refret, I know that uh, the fingerboard was also radius. So you've got the radius in there and you've got um, the courses, the unisons are, are kind of tighter together. Uh, very nice spacing, very even, evenly spaced, real comfortable. Uh, but you know, it gives you, a, if you're somebody that likes one and three sixteenths, uh, it, it can give you that feel. Um, but if you're, you're somebody that likes one and an eighth, it doesn't feel off at all. You know? And just, uh, I, I really like the, <laughs> the bass, I'm sorry. Oh, uh, what else? What else? all the way around good up high say see the description box if you're interested in this you can uh, you can talk with Jimmy Edmonds about it I think I've remembered the pertinent details on it but uh, oh it's a nice V neck uh, reminds me you know earlier well, well Gibson yeah very Gibson oriented on the V I would say it's it's not it's not a um, you know, some people have gotten into kind of C or D shaped necks. This is a real Gibson inspired V. Uh, really comfortable, plays well, lacquer finish, and uh, pretty fancy, nice, nice inlays. The extension is scooped to the 19th fret on this. So long, long scoop it helps to alleviate that, you know, that whole deal, the pick click. Uh, but it's a wonderful mandolin, wonderful mandolin. Um, I, I've really enjoyed playing this. I, I really have. It's been around the house here for a little while. Jimmy brought it over, and um, I've, I've enjoyed it. I've, I've really enjoyed it. And uh, Gerald Anderson was a great builder, and of course, unfortunately, is no longer with us, uh, and is, is very missed. He had a lot of a lot of fans of his work, a lot of professionals that utilized his instruments and still do. And uh, you don't see these come up on the market too often. I, it's been quite a while since I've seen one of Gerald's mandolins or guitars come up on the market. Uh, and there's a reason for that, you know. So uh, number 87, 2003, and see that description box. And I appreciate y'all. Please subscribe and take care. Thank you.